it's Caitlin from Caves um, and I had this idea to do like a little video about each of our songs from our EP, our EP. Um, just talking about like the lyrics and the recording process and a bit of like how they came about um, if any of you care you don't have to watch them and today I thought we'd start off with fizzy can you tell like the fizzy eyeshadow and the fizzy oh god I'm gonna have to keep it up now aren't I anesthetic is green Something nothing's pastel yellow. Oh god, I don't think I want to do that anymore. Um, we'll see. But yeah, so I thought we'd start off with Fizzy. It seems like a really good place to start. Um, this song was sort of like, it sort of began this era of caves, if you will. Um, it's like the title track off of our EP and it dictated like our new logo and our t-shirts and stuff. So Fizzy seemed like a good place to start. Um, oh god, writing wise, I think this was pretty easy. Like, I, I seem to remember this song just sort of coming about. Um, I think Tim and Mia and Matt were playing around with like this chorusy bit and the chorus pretty much wrote itself like that was really easy I knew that I wanted to include something sort of like quite like fast paced at the end and stuff but the verses I seem to remember being an absolute nightmare I seem to remember rewriting the verses about three times but that's just me I hate everything I write so <laughs> that's, that's that's nothing different um but it seemed okay shock horror Tim Watt did solo um, but again, I, I can't imagine the song without the solo now, like it's insane and if you haven't listened to the song, you need to listen to the little solo, it's just really pretty, it's just like a nice, pretty, summery solo, it's a very summery song actually, it's quite a summery EP. Um, but yeah, so it's really easy to write, I just knew that I wanted the word fizzy in there, because the whole song is written about, it's the only happy song Kay's will ever write, but it's all written about that little like, happy fuzzy feeling that you get when you're like really really happy really really excited about something and you feel all like fizzy and like Ooh. and it's just it's, it's it's the only happy song we're ever gonna write i'm not gonna lie um but i knew i really really wanted to include that and yeah other than that all the lyrics are quite like upbeat really so like the chorus is um my head isn't as straight as it used to be which i think pretty much sums up the whole song it's just like when you're so so happy and you're so so excited about something that you just feel like ah um but weirdly, the sort of person that inspired this song doesn't make me happy at all anymore. And it's just really interesting to me because over time, the song has got so, so many more meanings to it. And like every time I sing it, I just think of like a new meaning and it's just completely changed as I've gotten happier um, throughout life, which is very heartwarming, I know. Um, but it has, like as I've gotten happier, this song, this song's meaning has just completely changed. And I think now it holds like a lot more to me. It's got a lot of moods in it. I think the whole EP has got a lot of moods in it really. So this is like the title track of our EP. The whole EP, if you listen to it through, is quite like a, like a, as I said, like a summary sort of upbeat, happy EP really. But if you actually listen to the lyrics of it, like it's actually not that happy at all. And it's got quite a lot of like different emotions and stuff in it. Um, but I think that's what fizzy is. I think fizzy is definitely like that. As I said, it just means a lot to me. Um, oh God. Recording it was okay. Recording it is always quite fun. We recorded at um, Matt's parents' house in like a little holiday let. I love I love recording there. The acoustics are amazing. And I seem to remember this song taking forever because at the end of the choruses, it goes, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. And I seem to remember having to record like eight of them in a row. And I kept messing it up because I just blur the words into an I want it, I want it at the end. And if you listen to this song back and just focus on the I want it, they all seem so unnatural like <laughs> they sound awful um but yeah so i think the recording process was fun i love recording all songs but this one especially was quite easy really um in comparison to some you've got to watch back on some of the videos and i will i will tell you about our recording <sighs> struggles um but yeah i remember when it was finished and just listening to it the first time and i was like yeah this is like a new era for k it's like this is like a whole new thing and i was so so proud of it um i think we're all really really proud of it and because of that, it's like such a staple in all of our sets. Like pretty much, if you've seen us live, we pretty much want to play Fizzy, like as a rule. Um, it's just such a staple. And I think that it was a really good title EP track and we all love playing it. And I don't know, this sounds really cliche, but like I don't know where our band would be if we hadn't written Fizzy, which is weird to think about. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a little bit about Fizzy. Um, if you haven't already, you should listen to it. Check it out on Spotify. Amazon, Apple Music, iTunes, probably another place um, if you care about it. Um, so I hope you're all enjoying lockdown and quarantine and you should go check out Disney. Bye! <laughs>